this is a 1929 fire truck, Pasadena's first. We refer to her as Old Betsy. She was made by American La France, put into service in 1930, and it's always been a, didn't have any power steering other than what you had in, in your arms and legs, because sometimes it took both to steer it and stop it. Yeah, it saw a lot of action, and, and now we have pagers that we use to call the firemen to the fire scene. Back then, there was a siren at Station 1, and when a fire came in, they'd sound that siren, and the guys, you hope they heard the siren, and that's, that's how we call it to the station. There's a tailboard back there. We used to all have to stand on the tailboard. They, they stood all around, all around this, this right here, and then they could stand on the back, there's not many fire departments that can say that they've got their first original fire truck. I'm not even sure if the ports, if it was their original fire truck or not. I probably was, but I'm not sure of that. It just so happened that the ports got the sister truck there. They were purchased at the same time. I understand that they came in on the same train in 1929, and then I'm not sure when they put theirs in service, but ours went into service in 1930. That makes it an 88-year-old truck. It's a 1929, so its number was the city, it's 2901. All of the trucks and the vehicles start out with the year they were purchased. We got to where the, we had to do some major repair, we had to put a new engine in it, new transmission and the new brake system on it. So we continue to drive. It used to be a standard five-speed transmission, I believe it was, and no power steering. It was Armstrong power. Now it's got an automatic transmission and power brakes. So it goes like nobody's business. It's fun to drive now that you don't have all that non-power steering on there. We had some children. They're handicapped kids right around Christmas. And we took the truck over there, and we had Santa, and I brought Santa Claus in on the truck. He got off the truck, and those, those children over there are more interested in the truck than they were Santa Claus. <laughs> so. It's a real source of pride for me, for our fire department, and even the city. It, it always draws attention wherever you take it. If I'm driving it from here down to wherever next location is, People go by and they honk the horn and wave at you. So it's, it's kind of nice to drive and have them do that for you.